So today's laptop is kind of interesting because it comes from a company that usually focuses on these crazy PC builds. Main Gear makes these custom water loops with like dual GPUs, powerful CPUs, and sells it to whoever wants a crazy PC. This caught my attention because it's totally the opposite direction. This is a laptop that has a very clean aesthetic. There's no RGB, at least on the case itself, and it's lighter than a MacBook Pro. Everything is black. It's just a stealthy looking machine with the main gear logo in the middle. It has tons of ports. On the left hand side, you have a RJ45, you have a USB 3.1, your audio ports, and then on the right hand side, you have a full size SD card slot and two more USB ports. Plus, on the back of the laptop, you have a USB Type-C port. This is not Thunderbolt 3. Your power connector, HDMI, and two mini display ports. Now, I'm not sure why they went with too many display ports. I think I would have rather have like one mini display port and another USB Type-C Thunderbolt 3 port, but for whatever reason, if you need too many display ports, this is the laptop that has it. So getting inside and doing upgrades is super easy. And what you have is two slots for SSDs. One available if you wanna add in a second one, and the bottom one is an NVMe drive. Two slots for RAM. Right now you have two eight gigabyte sticks for dual channel memory. But unfortunately, you only have a 62 watt hour battery and this does not have good battery life. I'm only getting out two hours and 30 minutes before needing to charge. And you have two speakers on the bottom which don't have the best sound quality. So the display is 15 inches, 144 hertz, IPS, good color accuracy, fantastic for gaming, and I'd feel comfortable doing some content creation on this. But the only thing I do not like about it is the placement of the webcam. If you rely on your webcam to do streaming or conference calling, it's not the most flattering position because it's going to be staring up at your nose. This keyboard is very familiar. You guys probably have seen it on a lot of MSI laptops, the ones that partner with SteelSeries. Same sort of layout. You have the numpad on the right-hand side. Doesn't feel cramped. Rubberized key, so it feels nice and smooth. Good key travel, so there's nice force when you're clicking on it. Touchpad is a little small. It's fairly accurate. It is using Windows Precision drivers, but it's not the best touchpad I used. But again, this is a gaming laptop, so I imagine most people will be connecting a mouse. Now, if you wanna buy this, there's basically one option to choose from. 1500 bucks, that'll net you a 9750H, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and a GTX 1660 Ti. Gameplay performance is actually really good. One of the better 1660 Ti's in a mobile laptop that I've tested in the last little while. However, the way heat works on this is a bit different. If you're just pushing the CPU to 100%, this laptop does an insanely good job of keeping the thermals cool. However, once you start utilizing the GPU and CPU together, like when you're doing gaming, it gets way too hot. Temperatures are over 94 degrees Celsius, and because the air is blowing out of the sides of the laptop, if you're using the mouse and your hand is too close to it, your hand will start to feel hot. So just make sure if you're buying this, keep your hand a good distance from the laptop. Fan noise, it gets loud. I mean, like every gaming laptop gets loud when it's under full load. Like you're expecting over 50 decibels. So here are my closing thoughts. The main gear vector is a really powerful laptop in a small and thin form factor, but it sometimes doesn't have the best cooling, battery life is not the greatest, and on top of that, it's priced really high. $1,500 puts it right above a similarly specced Acer Predator Helios 300, Wi-Fi 40, or even an HP Omen 15. For $400, you can get another laptop with very similar specs. I think if Main Gear dropped the price on this laptop, this would be very appealing to a lot of people because the size and weight of this is a lot lighter than the other laptops I just mentioned. Anyways, that wraps up my video on the Main Gear Vector. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.